Hey guys, what's up? It's Fast Fortnite here today. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another story time. So I don't know. I don't know if this is like everybody, but I know that some people I know anyway. Not not a lot, but it seems like a lot of people that do story time videos, like I do, like this one. Uh, it seems like whenever they talk about school there was always a time that they were like bad and it seems like a lot of the time people were mostly bad and like i don't know like like in the first grade or like elementary school times you know a lot of people were worse because you know when you're that small of a kid you don't you're not taught as much as you're taught when you get older obviously so maybe you don't always think about your actions and stuff but Basically, if you don't know, back when I was in first grade, I uh, actually was like, like, if you know me now, I'm not bad, like, I'm not mean to people or anything, but I don't, like, I don't usually, like, doing much in school. I just kind of sit there sometimes and watch, or I'll do work sometimes, but, you know, I try to do just enough work so I'm just able to pass, but that's really it, because I don't like doing much of anything. Talk to my friends, uh, in some class I just sit next to my friends, so I talk to them and shit, but when I was in first grade, <coughs> uh, I actually did a lot more work than I do now, like a lot more than I need to pass, but I still didn't always get the, that good of grades, and the reason was because, like, when I was in elementary school, I was a lot worse of a kid, I did a lot of bad things and shit, but not like... Like, not like, you know, you see some guy on the street and he's like, I've done a lot of bad things. I killed someone or some fucking shit like that, dude. Come on, man. I'm just I'm just a kid, man. Don't do them things. But, you know, I have, I've done a lot of bad things when I was in elementary school anyway. And one of those things was basically breaking into the principal's office. I've done a lot of things. And I was thinking of doing a story time of a lot of shit that I've done when I was in, like, elementary school because I, I did do a lot of bad shit uh, in elementary school basically there was this one time before I was with the group of friends I'm with now I don't know how old I was but I was in elementary school uh, basically what happened was uh, I asked to go to the bathroom and I went to the bathroom and basically there was this one uh, principal that I had in the school and the principal was, like, such a bitch to me and my mother, and we didn't like her. And she left, like, not that long after this happened. But basically, uh, what happened was, after I went to the bathroom, uh, I mean, the, the, the teacher, or not, sorry, not the teacher, the principal stopped me in, in the hallway. Because she was like, you know, are you sure you're supposed to be out here? You just, you know, doing fucking stupid shit again. That's obviously not what she said, because you can't say that type of shit to a kid if you're, like, someone big like that, but she said basically that, she said something like, are you supposed to be out here, and I was like, yeah, see, I got this pass, you know, and, you know, I finished those errands, you know, Spongebob, but, um, what happened was, you know, I just was, like, thinking right after she left, and she was like, okay, and she just left, and I was thinking right after, I was like, you know, I don't, I don't like her, I want to, I wanna, you know, get her, I want to do something, uh, to, like, fuck up her day, because she's always such a bitch, and I can't do anything, I'm only, I'm only a little kid, you know, back, back in elementary school, obviously, I was a lot more little than I am now, but, basically, what happened was, um, I, I went over, I was going back to class, and all the way to class was the principal's office, and I saw there, uh, I saw the principal's office, and she had it locked, but basically, she has, like, I don't know if you've ever seen the kind of locks I'm, I'm gonna talk about, but she has, like, one of those locks that it's, like, on this, on the side of the door that you can't get in, all you need to unlock it is, like, a penny. Like, you just stick a penny in this little hole, and then, <laughs> it's like a little slot machine. You just stick it in, like, probably, like, uh, an eight, one-eighth of the way, and then you just twist the penny, and it unlocks the door. And, uh, I used to keep change with me when I was at school. Uh, like, dimes and shit, and I had, I'd pick up pennies and change whenever I was, like, little, and where I used to live, apparently, people were very clumsy, because there was always, like, change somewhere, but, basically, what happened was, uh, I had a, a few pennies, so I used one of my pennies, and what happened was, 
I unlocked the door and I went in out. I wasn't sure what to do, but what happened was I closed the door after that and I figured she might not be back for a little while, so I probably have at least some time to spare, look around and shit, because I'm, I was a lot, I was, I'm a really adventurous person, like, I, I always like taking walks to random places and going to places I've never been before and shit. I'm just an adventurous kind of person, that's just the way I like to look around and shit, you know, it's just the way I am, but... <laughs> So I was looking around and I found I found some what's it called? I can't remember what it's called at the moment. Uh, I found some uh, coffee. That's what it was. I found some uh, coffee and it was hot and I was like, maybe what I should do is put you know pour the coffee down the toilet, except like pour it on the seat. So it, like she has like a bathroom in her office, and basically it's like. One of those where the the seat of the toilet goes into the toilet, like it's it's like tilted so that that way if you pee on the side, it's gonna drip into the toilet. If that makes sense, I've never seen anyone do it, but some are made like that, so I don't know. Anyway, I um I was like, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it it down the toilet, but I'm gonna pour it around the seat so that way if she sits on it, it'll be like hot and it'll burn her or something. You know, not like burn her enough to fucking kill her or like scar her ass, but it would just be like a quick burn and be like, ow, what the fuck, you know? Just like get like a reaction like that. So I was like, okay, this will be cool. So I poured it, I actually did pour it down the toilet uh, with getting a lot on the sea as much as I could without it like spilling out too much. A little bit of it did though. And then uh, what happened was I was still in the bathroom and I just threw the cup away after I, I left. Uh, I mean, I didn't, well, I didn't leave, I mean, after I put it down the toilet. Because she has, like, a little trash can in there, I guess, for, like, toilet paper or whatever. Because you don't want to throw it in the, in the, uh, freaking toilet, because it could stop up the toilet. But, basically, I threw it in there, and then I was about to leave. I was just about to come out. And then I hear the doorknob rattling. And I was like, oh, shit. Uh, what should I do? And I just hear the door open. And, basically, the, the... It's like, I don't know how to s describe it. Basically, it's like, think of, the room is like, think of a square room. And there's like an extra mini square at the back of the, like, the right side. And then there's another square connected to that on, on the right, on the left of it. And that little square is the bathroom. So I was there, so it's not like the bathroom was straight at the end and she could see me, like, through the bathroom door. The bathroom door was like to the side, so it's like she couldn't see me. But the door was like against the wall, so I moved it a little bit so it didn't like squeak that much. And then I hid behind it, and the bathroom door was open when I came there, so it didn't really matter. She, you know, it's not like she thought anything was weird, but she started typing on the computer, and I peeked out because I wanted to sneak past. And I just stayed in there for a while trying to think of what I could do. To make sure that if I snuck past, she would not notice. And then uh, someone came in afterwards. And then uh, they started talking to her, but only for like a minute. And then she was like, uh, hold on, could you come back later? I gotta go to the bathroom. And I, and I was like, oh shit, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So basically the guy left. And what happened was, just as she came in the bathroom, she's about to sit on the toilet. And then what happened was that she, he didn't lock the door or anything he just closed it so what happened was she was uh about to turn around and i just like dipped i totally just fucking dipped but she like noticed me and she's like hey who's that but she thought she knows me so she just noticed me and she's like hey who the hell was that and then she just freaking went over the loudspeaker after i got back to class like a minute later or two minutes later she went to the loudspeaker and said who the fuck poured my coffee? Like, she'd actually say, you know, fuck, obviously, but it's like, who the hell poured my coffee down the toilet and was in the um, bathroom peeking on me? You know, basically, like, saying, who's hurting her privacy and shit? And I just, like, started laughing, and, like, one of my friends was like, oh, my God, what did, what did you do this time? And I was like, I'll explain it later. And that, that was just... It's probably one of the closest calls to getting in trouble because I was pretty good at doing bad shit back then, so I usually didn't get in trouble for it. But I just thought it was a cool story because, you know, she she saw me, but it was like such a quick flash. She didn't actually know it was. 
I thought she knew it was me, so I was like super scared. And then when I heard it over the loudspeaker and she said, who did this? Then I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm fine. Never mind that. But probably one of the be best, uh, probably one of the closest calls, rather, I've ever had uh, trying to, you know, fuck someone's day, basically. But apparently she did burn her ass, maybe. I don't know, she didn't mention anything about that. She just said, uh, who spilled my coffee down the toilet? It was peeking on me, basically. But, yeah, never again did I go in a freaking office like that. An office. A classroom, I'll go in, like, empty classrooms. But an office, no fucking way, dude. That shit's, no, that shit's too scary. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and comment of what the funniest part of the story was to you. And I'll see you guys in the next story time. But I definitely thought this was one of the better ones. But uh, share, and I'll see you guys in the next story time. Uh, goodbye.